Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the 10 minute morning. Today is February 14th, 2022. Nothing special about that day that I can remember. Um, oh yeah, unless you're in love and then it's Valentine's Day. Oh yes, the day of love. Halfway through February, which is good. Um, oh yeah, brought to you this week by Parrish and Heimbecker. Parrish and Heimbecker is a Canadian family-owned agribusiness with roots in the agriculture industry dating, dating back more than 100 years. P&H is growth-orientated, diversified, and vertically integrated with operations spanning across Canada in grain merchandising, crop inputs, flour milling, and feed milling. Honesty and integrity are core values that were instilled through our original founders and continue as the driving principles behind our business today. Thank you to them. Also by Beachside Burgers. Burgers are better at the beach. Looks like I'm a little low on my frame rate, so it might be a little glitchy today. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. Alrighty. Um, oh, I wanted to apologize. Friday, you might have heard me yelling no at somebody. Well, that was my dog. My dog was outside. When, I, when we built this house, or when I built this house, I wanted windows. I never figured out why anybody didn't have windows that went lower. So I wanted lower windows so I could see bigger open space. Well, now I know why, because your dog can get up against the windows and scratch at them. But lesson learned, I guess. All right, on the weather front right now at the dam, it's minus 17. The sun will rise at 821. By noon, it'll be minus 13. And by 5 p.m., it'll be minus 11. Sun will set at 620, meaning we're going to have daylight almost till 7 o'clock. Days are starting to stretch out. But we're supposed to get some snow tonight. Looks like the snowflake is all over here. High tomorrow, minus 9. Wednesday, high, minus 17. Then back down. Thursday, minus 3. Friday, minus 4. Uh, lows Wednesday, Thursday, minus 26. So it's going to get cooler overnight again. It is February. It's quite the country we live in. Uh, significant other on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to her. She come in all in a huff, which isn't a surprise. Usually she's mad at me. Nope. On the mobile command center, had so much mud on it, the mud dropped down around the tires, and then it froze solid. So it was just like it was being chalked on both sides. So, a little ax action this morning. Got to go play some Paul Bunyan and smash out some mud. Quite a country we live in, I tell you. Hockey action. Let's get to let's get to some sporting action out on the ice. Um, the luck ran out for the Lucky Lakers. Their season came to a close this weekend as they ran into crank problems. Uh, so now they are done. Um, oh, I don't, I'm a little behind here. I don't know about Sass Valley action. I do know that the contacts last, lost last night 6-5 in overtime against Tisdale. Um, midget, other midget AAA action. The Blazers are playing a neutral site game in Outlook on Wednesday. They are playing the Swift Current Legionnaires. $5 admission, so if you want to come see some... Great midget triple A hockey action. I suggest you go to Outlook on Wednesday. Uh, Blazers have a good team. I don't know if McQueen will be back. He was called up to the WHL this weekend. Well worth your five dollars. Oh, there's my dog scratching at the window. Thank you very much, dog. Gets my blood my blood point raising all the time. Um, and across the pond. Across the pond, uh, the Nottingham Panthers, they lost to Manchester 4-2 on Friday. On Saturday, they lost to Cardiff 5-2. But they redeemed them, totally redeemed themselves on Sunday and came back with a 4-1. So they got the, the little streaking sliding to get stopped there. Okay. Um, okay. If you know of any other hockey action, please read. Send me updates on whatever you have, whatever you'd like to talk about. Makes it much easier for me. 
Yesterday, something was important about yesterday. What was important about yesterday? There's something about yesterday. Oh, the Super Bowl was on yesterday. The Super Bowl was on yesterday. And the Los Angeles Rams had a last minute drive to get in the end zone. I feel for Cincinnati, they were winning and a borderline penalty extended the drive for LA down at the goal line. It was something that wasn't called all game. I thought it was a little weak myself. Then Cincinnati took another one at, right at the goal line. It was legitimate. But the first one, it would have been fourth and whatever, fourth and goal. So it would have been a one and done to win the Super Bowl. But there's always got to be controversy. There's got to be something goes on, right? So a penalty. So there's a lot of ticked off people in Cincinnati today, I am sure. Okay. Valentine's Day today. Don't forget to reach out to your significant other if you don't have one. Maybe today's the day you make the first step. Go out. The first step is the hardest. Unless it goes south. Unless, it, unless you have a relationship and it goes south, then it's the second hardest because then the day you got to break it off. That gets to be just as harder and harder, especially if they're crazy. Right? Alrighty. Valentine's Day, a little bit here. I'm just getting it up here. Also known as St. Valentine's Day or the Feast of St. Valentine, originated as a Christian feast day honoring one or two early Christian martyrs named St. Valentine through folk traditions. And it has become a cultural, religious, and commercial celebration of romance and love in many regions around the world. Alrighty. So, happy Valentine's Day to you all. I love you all for tuning in. Time to get to work. Oh, I might have just closed that out. Oh, no. Technical difficulties. My fault. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody.